Hey guys, my name is Chip, and welcome to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now today's video, I'm just bringing you a bit of information about a lot of YouTube channels that are currently getting banned, removed, and having their channels taken down uh, by a website called Spam404. Now this website is basically a site that tries to clean up the internet, and the way it's taken down YouTube channels is from users having either spam tags or have done something wrong in the past um, have previously had YouTube channels that were terminated now I don't know whether you know if you had a YouTube channel that was previously terminated you're not actually allowed to own another YouTube channel uh, that's one of the terms of service things that they are very keen on so if you had a channel previously and you've got a new channel now because the original was terminated you shouldn't really burn YouTube and if this website finds out then they'll come after you and they'll get your channel closed um, this video is really just to say, be careful guys, our YouTube channels are, you know, if you're below probably 500 subs, you, you probably won't care, but if you've got a channel and you care about it, and you want to, you know, maybe grow your channel to the point where it's a profitable business, which is obviously something that's very achievable now in the, in the age of, of Google and the money it pays, all I'm saying is be careful. now. I used to spam tags on my videos, like probably 99% of you guys did if you are a content creator. Now, the hardest thing now, at the minute, is is search ranking. Lots of people use this method to rank their videos on YouTube, which was originally started by T-Martin and Ali A. They found a way of bypassing the system and spam tags in videos. And that helped them with search engine optimization, so it ranked their videos higher on YouTube, which is how they've got to how you know probably as big as they are now. Um, I'm not saying that they've got bad channels. Obviously, it's you know I don't have an opinion on their channels. I don't really watch their videos, but I do know that they are kind of the ones that were f the founders of the spam tags. Once everybody saw they were doing it, pretty much everyone did it. If you didn't do it, then you missed a trick because it did help you rank very highly on YouTube search page. But it was cheating the system because the description box isn't really there for you to spam things in there to to kind of cheat the system and get your videos ranked higher. But it wasn't really something anyone really cared about or bothered about until probably about two months ago now. Mr. Technical Difficulty got his channel taken down. He had over two million subscribers, and it was kind of like, oh shit! Now everybody's stopping using text. But if you've got videos that are still in your channel that have the spam tags on it, then it only has to be reported one video, an old video, to Spam404, this website, and they will get your channel either removed or they'll get your strikes for the videos. You need to stop if you're using spam tags, because if you are spamming tags in your description, you're going to get found out and you're going to get your channel removed. Casper HD, 250,000 subscribers, channel terminated, no chance of getting it back. AUK Kronos. Uh, I think he had over 200k as well. Channels removed, gone. He's um, tried to get his channel back. Uh, I think he said on Twitter he finds out on Wednesday if he can have it back or not. If he doesn't, then that's it, game over. He can't upload videos anymore to YouTube. Not in an account in his name anyway. And, you know, these guys made mistakes, got caught, and they've been punished for it. I just really, really feel for these guys because they must be absolutely devastated because their channels are reasonably big and it would have been I would say a semi kind of job stroke job with the amount of money they was probably generating off, the, off of YouTube and now that's literally gone in a heartbeat um, it's not good you need to start watching out for what you're doing and just being really careful guys because if you know if you're not a YouTube creator and you're watching this video and you know it could well be one of your favorite YouTubers that's been affected next. Dommy's Live made a video the other day, kind of calling out people for doing this and saying that they've done it. He included himself in it, which is fair enough. Personally, it's just I didn't really think he should have made that video and, and did it in the way he did it by calling people out and saying that, you know, this is their videos, they've done this wrong, they've done that wrong. I know he included himself in it, but it's just creating a spotlight on this kind of thing. Now we've all probably made mistakes in the past with what we've done on YouTube, we were all naive at one point and did things that we probably shouldn't have done, but this is something that will affect you for, for the rest of your life pretty much. If you're banned on YouTube once, you can't ever own another channel. 
So it is a long standing thing and it's you know, if you've got 250,000 subscribers, I know you're going to be devastated yourself. But look at these poor guys that, you know, they're subscribers. There's 250,000 people, a quarter of a million people that watch these guys' videos that now can't watch their videos anymore. I really do feel for these guys. What Spam 404's message is, they want to clean up the internet, they want to stop things happening, that kind of thing, this kind of thing. I totally get that, and I'm all for it. I made mistakes in the past. I've thankfully never got a strike. I removed all tags from my videos. I even removed some old videos I thought may be at risk of getting hit. Because even though I don't earn much money on YouTube, I earn pennies, I do this for the love of actually doing it. I really enjoy uploading videos. I love the feedback from you guys. And I would absolutely hate for me to lose my channel. So I didn't want to take any risks. I removed everything that I found that I felt was possibly something that could affect my channel. And I've cleaned it up. So you know if you've got a big channel clean it up go and get rid of all your old videos that got spam tags or change the description I mean even PewDiePie he uploaded videos for The Last of Us when he first started that go look at the video and he had spam tags in the description and I found that yesterday and um, Spam404 actually sent a tweet out yesterday talking about it saying that they've made him aware so you know it's not good guys it, it's good that we're tr that they're trying to clean it up, don't get me wrong, I do appreciate that and I think it's great that the, the GTA 5 especially, the GTA 5 community is being cleaned up because it is long overdue, a lot of people took the piss really with what they did for a long time um, I just would hate to see bigger channels getting taken down for mistakes they've made in the past so this message is I really feel for the guys that have lost the channels, I really do, I am so devastated for you and I really hope that you find a resolution to the problems you're having at the moment, um, hang in there, hopefully you'll get some good news, people make mistakes, it's really harsh though to punish people by removing the channels unless they really are taking the piss. So that pretty much covers it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, I would love to see your feedback in the comments below and you know, let me know what you think of the whole subject, the whole scenario. Uh, let me know what you think or whether you think, think Spam404 is a good thing or whether you think they are targeting people in an unfair way. I'd love your opinion on this. Um, don't go and hate on Spam404. They're not doing anything wrong. They're just going by the terms of service that YouTube have set. So don't be mean to them, guys. They are doing you know, the right thing. I just think maybe they could preempt people a little bit to give them a little bit of a warning in advance. That's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. If you did enjoy this uh, video, make sure you drop a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.